In this NextPay tutorial, we're going to show you how easy it is to set up your NextPay account. The setup process begins when you receive an email from us that looks something like this. It contains a link that you will click to activate your account. It will also contain a username and a password that has been assigned to you. You need to take a moment and write that information down because you'll be using it when you log into your account. So click on the link and that will bring you to this page that says, congratulations, your account has been successfully activated. Now click continue. In this screen, you're going to use the login credentials you were just given to log into your account. Enter your username and now the password and click login. That will bring you to this page, which is the eWallet setup page. Take a moment and read the information in the green box. Essentially what you're doing here is creating a new account within NextPay. It's important that your information that you confirm or add is absolutely accurate and reflected on your legal documents, like a passport, a driver's license, etc. Now, some of this information may be auto-populated, so make sure you go through it field by field. Put in your first name, your last name, your address, the city you live in, postcode, your home phone, your mobile phone, and an accurate, verifiable email address. Use this drop-down menu to choose the country you live in. Add your birthday, and then select the language that you prefer to communicate in. Select your country of citizenship. Next, enter your passport number or government ID number. In the next box, Step 3, simply check this box that says, I verified that all the information shown is correct. Check this box to agree to the terms and conditions. If at this point you'd like to look at the fee schedule or how much each transaction will cost, you can click this link to do so. Now, moving on to Step 4. You're going to select your own personal transaction pin. This is numbers only, no letters. It's four to 10 digits, and they can't be sequential. You're going to need this pin every time you do a transaction within NextPay, or even to edit your account. When you have that pin in mind, type it in the top box, and then again in the bottom box. Then we move down to the last field, which is to answer three security questions. It gives you a drop-down menu to choose from a variety of questions find ones that you're comfortable with answering. For example, what was your first job? Waiter. What is your mother's maiden name? Collier. And for the third one, I'll look for a different question from the drop-down menu, like, what was the first concert you attended? The Rolling Stones. Again, it's very important that you select security questions that you will remember the answers to because you may be prompted at any time to answer one or more of those questions just to log into your NextPay account. After selecting and answering your three security questions, click Continue. Doing so will take you to the next screen where you will verify that all the information you've entered previously is correct. If it isn't, click the Edit button to go back and correct the errors. If the information is correct, click Continue. And that will bring you to your brand new NextPay Control Center. That's how simple it is to set up your new account. Welcome to NextPay.